What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you about multiplying exponents with other exponents. And we're specifically gonna cover how you do this when you're dealing with algebraic expressions, all right? So as you can see, I got about seven examples here. So let's start with this one in the top left. So we have x squared times x cubed. So how would you simplify this? Well, it's actually pretty easy. We have an x, we have an x, so you just keep the x, and then the exponents, you just add them together. So literally two plus three, and then two plus three is five. So then here you would have x to the fifth power, okay? That would be your simplified answer. So same thing over here, n to the seventh times n to the negative 11. So you would just have, you have an n here, you have an n here, so we keep the n, and then you just add the two exponents together. So seven plus negative 11. So then your answer here would be n, and then seven plus negative 11 is negative four, right? And then if you remember how to deal with a negative exponent, great, and if you don't, I'll explain it right now. So whenever you have a negative exponent, you can rewrite your answer a little more simplified by just writing it as a fraction. So this part, you just put in the denominator, okay? And then your exponent, instead of it being negative, it turns positive, okay? So if you wanted to simplify n to the negative four, you could write it as one over n to the positive four. So then this would be your simplified answer right there, okay? Now, coming over here. So here we have a to the fourth times a to, and then you don't see an exponent here, right? But you can always assume when there's no exponent that there's a one right there, okay? So then here, we have an a, we have an a. So you keep the a, and then you just add your exponents together. So four plus one, right? which is five. Okay, so then your answer right here would be a to the fifth. Okay, so now coming to this last uh, single variable one, here we have t to the negative five times t to the positive five. Okay, so again, you have a t, you have a t, so you just keep the t, and then you add your exponents together. So here we do have negative five plus five, which is equal to zero. So here we'd have t to the zero, right? But remember, anything raised to the zero power is actually equal to one, okay? So your actual simplified answer would be one. All right, so hopefully those weren't too bad. Let's just do a few more examples, and these are all gonna have at least two variables in them, all right? So starting over here on the left, we have x squared y cubed times x to the fourth y to the seventh. Okay, so this is all about combining like terms. Okay, so you're gonna multiply, in this case anyways, you're gonna multiply all your x's together, so those, and then you're gonna multiply your y's together. Okay, so let's start with the x's. So here we have x squared times x to the fourth, right? Okay, so again, you have an x here, you have an x here, so you just keep the x, and then you just add the exponents together. So we're gonna add two and four. Two plus four, okay? Now let's do that with the y's. So here we have y cubed times y to the seventh, right? We have a y here, we have a y here. So we just keep the y, and then we're gonna add the exponents together. So three plus seven. Three plus seven. Okay, so then simplifying this, two plus four, that's equal to six, right? So here we're gonna have x to the sixth. And then here we have three plus seven, which is equal to 10. So here we're gonna have y to the tenth. Okay, so then your final answer right here would just be x to the sixth, y to the tenth. Okay, just a couple more examples here. So here we have a cubed b squared times b to the negative two times a to the fifth. Okay, so again, combine like terms, all right? So we're gonna multiply the a's together. So we have an a here and an a here. So we're gonna keep the a, and then what's three plus five? Well, three plus five is equal to eight, okay? And then we're gonna multiply that with the b terms, right? So here we have a b, here we have a b, so we'll keep the b, and then you just add the exponents together. So what's two plus negative two? Well, that's zero. And remember, anything raised to the zero power is equal to one, right? So b raised to the zero power is actually equal to one. And then we have this a to the eighth, right? So a to the eighth, times one is equal to just a to the eighth, okay? So then that would be your final answer. Okay, and one last example where we gotta deal with some fractions in our exponent, all right? So here we have p to the sixth s times p to the three halves 
s to the negative one half. So I get it, fractions are gross, okay? But the process is still the same, so don't let that throw you off. Okay, so again, combining like terms, here we have a p, here we have a p, so we'll just keep the p, and then add the exponents together, right? So six plus three halves. And since we're dealing with fractions, let's just write it out. Six plus three halves. And then our other term is the s term, right? So we have an s here, have an s here. So we'll keep the s and then just add the exponents together. So this s doesn't have an exponent, so that means there's a one right there, right? So then we're gonna do one plus negative one half. One plus negative one half. All right, so let's try to simplify this. So starting here with the exponents, six plus three halves. Well, six, we could write that as a fraction, right? We could write that as six over one, but to add them, they have to have the same denominator. So in order to change this one into a two, I could just multiply the top and bottom by two, right? So I would have 12 over two. Okay, so let's write that. So we're gonna have p to the 12 over two plus the three halves. Okay, and now let's do it with this other term here. So here we have s to the one plus negative one half. Well, one plus negative one half is the same thing as one minus one half, right? And what's one minus a half? Well, that would just be a half, right? That's all you have left. Okay, so now simplifying this one last time, here we're gonna have p and then 12 over two plus three over two is equal to 15 over two, right? And then we have this s to the one half. Okay, so p to the 15 halves times s to the one half. That would be your final answer. Okay, now the last type of example I wanna cover with you is when you have variables in your exponent. So starting with this example right here, x squared times x to the a. The process, again, is still the same. So you have an x here, you have an x here, so just keep the x. And then you're just gonna add your exponents together. So here we have a two, here we have an a, so you're just gonna do two plus a. Now there's no way we can combine these anymore, right? So this is as simplified as you can get it. So your answer, simplified answer, would just be x to the two plus a. Okay, so let's do it one more time with this example right here. So we have m raised to the p times m raised to the q. So again, you have an m here, you have an m here, so we're just gonna keep the m, and then you're gonna add your exponents together. So p plus q, okay, so p plus q. So there's no like terms or anything here, right? So there's nothing we can simplify or combine. So this right here would be your simplified answer. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.